we just inserted and received all the customer information now let's quickly do what another operation so go back to our application i'm going to start this application so let me go to the customer service class so now here what i'm going to do we actually customize the add customer as well as what you know get all customers so now i'm going to customize what you know the get specific customer information so how to do that let me come in the old logic okay so what i'm going to do now I'm going to introduce customer do dot. I'm going to call the method called find. You can see there is a method, predefined method, which is very handy. You can you have simply have to pass what in you know, the customer ID. Since already we have a customer ID with us, you can pass what in you know, the customer ID that actually returns what you know optional customer. See optional actually what you know it's it's a API. It, it's a class. What exactly it will do in the sense. Because when you when you call this particular method, if you pass what you know one, you probably receive what you know the particular space particular customer. If you pass hundred, consider if the customer is not available, since what you know you will not get any null object, right? So in order to handle the null effectively, there is a API called what you know the optional API. So you can leverage that as part of what you know Java eight. Uh, you can refer that. In the Java 8 documentation, you'll get a clear idea, right? So here, I'm going to call this method. I'm going to pass what you know the customer ID, right? The customer ID. When I pass the customer ID, that is going to my database. That will fetch what you know that particular specific customer by using what you know ID, right? So now this is going to return us actually what you know the optional object, right? From the optional object, I want to get the customer object, right? So to do that, you have to Call the get method. So the get method will you what will give you what you know the customer object. The same object you can return as part of what you know the response, right? So we did what you know the customization for get specific customer record as well. Now let me go to what you know delete. Finally we'll go to what you know the update one, right? So let me go to what you know delete. See in the delete what I'm going to do. I'm going to what you know command this code. Instead, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call my customer. Dao dot. I'm gonna simply do what you can see that there are met methods available. If you want to delete the entire customer by passing the object, you can do that. By passing the ID, yes, you can do that. So our method is about what you know passing the ID, right? So I feel that this method is more suitable for our requirement, right? So let me call this method delete by ID pass what you know the customer ID. So let me pass what you know the customer ID. So I'm gonna pass what the customer ID that we have. That's it. Very simple. So we customized what you know the delete logic as well as what the get specific customer logic, right? Let me quickly run this application. Let's test whether this is working fine or not. Here we go. Our application is getting started and it started successfully. Now let's go back to what you know our Postman tool. I'm going to perform the insertion. Okay, I'm going to insert the record customer one inserted. Two inserted, three inserted, four, five. We inserted four, five customer totally. Let me get what you know the specific customer. I want to get all the customer. Let's see. Cool, I'm getting all the customer. Let me see whether we were we we can we can get the specific customer record. Cool, I can get what you know the specific customer. I'm going to perform the delete operation. And now, I'm going to record. I'm going to delete what you know the specific customer. The customer ID actually what you know one. Let me do that. Cool that you can see what you know the status is 200. That means the operation actually uh, you know uh, you know happened successfully. Let me go to what you know the get method again. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the list of all the customer. We have to make sure we 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 should not have what you know one customer one. Now you can see that you know the customer one is deleted successfully from the database.